All right, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel and Katie. Say, wave to the people, say hi. So at the content of this video, go ahead, um, smash that like button, also comment down below your thoughts on the video, and go ahead, hit that subscribe button, man, look. Uh, so the Ravens at their first press conference with Ty Bunk in the day, and we got to hear some of his offensive philosophy, how he thinks, how, how he wants this offense to look, right? Um, Harbaugh came out, introduced him, whatever, said that he was great with players, offensive versatility, and that he has a player-driven system. So all, right, all things we kind of known and things like that. So that was good to hear, whatever. All right. Things I want to talk about with Tom Munkin is what he said about his philosophy, Lamar Jackson, and there's some other things that I noticed. All right. Uh, first off, he said he was here because of the winning culture. He did not pick the job based on who was going to be here. Uh, you know, Lamar Jackson included. He said, irrespective of the roster, who's on the roster, uh, he wanted to be a Baltimore Raven. So take that for what, as you will. But that was part of the rumors that we heard from the insiders and the reporters that there were no guarantees about Lamar Jackson. And, you know, that the OC, that he wanted the job, is because he wanted to be here. Okay, cool. All right, he has to say he hasn't talked to any players, Lamar Jackson, anybody. He hasn't talked to any players. He only got there last week, so he's still working through everything like that. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there, you know. He hasn't talked to anybody yet. I don't really think that's that big of a deal. It's not really that surprising. He's still getting settled into the building, okay? Now, things he did say about Lamar Jackson in the press conference. He called Lamar Jackson an elite player, all right? So he has an elite skill set. Said that Lamar Jackson is underrated as a passer, and he seemed to have a real appreciation for athletic quarterbacks, uh, he mentioned that Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts, what he did in the Super Bowl, how they can, how they both ran for like 40 yards and one ran for 70 yards, and not necessarily in the sense of a QB run game, but in the sense of they can bail you out if, you know, the play isn't perfect. And that, you know, you need quarterbacks nowadays that aren't just the big pocket passers who maybe who might be a little boy immobile, but you got guys who are a little more quicker, shiftier back there, like Lamar Jackson. And he seemed to have a real appreciation for those kind of guys. And if he can't work with Lamar Jackson, he sounded like he would be excited to work with Lamar Jackson. All right. So I thought that was good. I thought that was interesting. Um, like I said, he didn't really mention nothing about the QB rank game. He really didn't. It's more about if protection breaks down, those guys can make a play for themselves because, you know, you're never going to call the perfect play every single time. And he knows that from what he's seen that Lamar Jackson can't make a play for himself. So I like that. All right. Um, now, offensive philosophy. They're going to build off the power run game and the play action. We knew that. John Harbaugh talked about, hey, look, we want to keep some of the stuff Greg Roman did as far as running the football and then get way better at passing the ball. And Tom Michael mentioned some of the same things, that they're going to be able to run the football still, but he's going to have bring in only some of his own things as far as the passing concepts and things like that, all right? Um, two words, if you watch this, uh, this press conference that you heard a lot, was space and explosives. And then not just explosive in the pass game, but also in the run game, all right? He said use the space, use the whole... The, the, the width of the field is 53 yards, using that whole width of the field to put pressure on the defense. He wants to use that. And if we remember watching these offenses with Greg Roman, like everything was played in the box. Everything was so tiny and confined and condensed. So it's good to hear a coordinator that says, hey, look, I want to use the width of the field. The Ravens have players right now that can make plays in space. Obviously, they need to add some more guys to this roster. But I like that. And also, he mentioned explosive plays, man, um, that they're needed, that you can you can draw explosive plays in many different kinds of ways. So we had a Ravens offense that were kind of slow, methodical, born. They could, Gray Roman could throw, uh, draw up the shot plate every now and then. But for the most part, um, offense was, was very, very, like almost like it was stuck in mud a lot, right? So good things was mentioned right there. Good things was mentioned. All right, what else he had to say? Sure. Creating space to create explosives. i go over that. Also, he said more no huddle. And how many times have we said that the Ravens need to pick up the tempo on offense? So this is something that he said, more no huddle, uh, was something that he said, that's something that he mentioned. If the Ravens can find a way to have a guy like Lamar Jackson still be here and not have to have an offense that was so slow, getting to the line, five seconds, anything like that, and be able to have an offense where it's more exciting, more um, up-tempo, that would be, be great for the players and great for the fans to watch as well. All right. Um, once again, Mr. Space and Explosives. Also, he mentioned that the RPO will be a part of the offense because he said that's part of the modern day game. You got spread and things like that. QBs aren't under center as much. So the RPOs are going to be a part of the game, will be a part of the offense. And then it's something that the Ravens do well. They just didn't do it a lot. Lamar Jackson was really good at the ball handling with the RPO, whether he's going to hand it off, throw the slant, or keep it himself. He's really good. He really made the right decision most of the times when it came to running the RPO. So if the Ravens can get back to using that in their offense, that's good. Can't wait to see it. All right. Um, 
He said he said two things about having a good passing game. An elite passing game comes with timing and also that good route concepts. And as we've seen many times, the Ravens did not have a great timing on their routes. And also that they um, the route concepts themselves weren't very good. Multiple players ended up in the same space. Multiple players uh, on top of each other. <laughs> Guys not knowing what the route would look like it was going to be, right? Um so if he can fix that, get guys open in space, I, I keep saying, like I said, he said the word space multiple times, said the word explosives multiple times. So this is something that he really, really believes in and um, and does care about. All right. So if he is true to that, that's great. That's awesome. Um. um so, yeah, like I said, with the raw concepts, the Ravens had an issue with, like I said, multiple guys being in the same area. If we can get rid of that issue. Girl, give me my, give me my brush. <laughs> she crazy. Um, if we had areas of issue with multiple guys in the same space at the same time, if he can help with that issue, that's a that's a great way to start it off. All right. Um, some other, now some other things that I thought was interesting that he said. All right. Uh, the staff is a work in progress. So they asked him about you know have you decided your staff in full? He said I just got here last week. Staff is a work in progress. So that there still will be changes made. If he's saying it's a work in progress, that means something something's happening. You know, if it, if it wasn't a work in progress, you would just keep the same guys you had. But since the staff is a work in progress, there will be changes made. We'll see what those changes are. But um, but yeah, we'll see what happens there, okay? Somebody asked him about Odell Beckham, right? <laughs> he said he loves Odell Beckham. He said he would love to um, love to work with him, loved how he his attitude and things like that. Had a great work ethic, played through injury, uh, really had high praise for Odell Beckham, and said that um, the stuff about him wanting the ball kind of got overblown because what great player doesn't want the football? What great player doesn't want to be involved in the game? So, if I'm the Ravens, you got to take a serious look at Odell Beckham. He's not a full year removed from that ACL injury that he suffered in the Super Bowl last year. He should be ready to go. You know, according to the Instagram videos and things like that, he's ramping up. He's looking better. So, he should be kind of getting there to a point where the Ravens can say, Hey, look, man, Odell, if you want to be here, we would love to have you. If he's a worth at least a flyer. and He probably won't cost you. I mean, he ain't going to be cheap, but it's not going to cost you top tier level just because he's coming off of that injury, right? Um, yeah, and, and one thing I thought he said was interesting about his coaching style is that they asked him about how do you teach the game to the players and make them see the game the way you see it, right? He actually said it's the reverse. I see the game through the player's eyes, which it sounds simple, but a lot of times, what I took from this is that a lot of times coaches have one way of teaching, have one way of doing things. And if the player doesn't get it, oh, this player is dumb, he doesn't understand it, uh, I, I can't work with him. No, he's saying that I want to see how the player views it and how I can help him view that a different way or help him, from his viewpoint, uh, maximize his talent, maximize his potential. So I'm going to sit back there. All right, to me, that was amazing. I loved hearing that, all right? Um, a coach should be able to adapt to his players. The players shouldn't always have to adapt to the coach. If you're a good coach, a good communicator, you can talk with guys. You can um, you can help them uh, in the offense where it's got to go, right? Um, and then lastly, he was kind of noncommittal about how the person that was going to use could be used because obviously he just got there, things like that. I don't know what she's doing. He, he just got there, things like that, right? So, you know, whether that's going to be two tight ends, three wide receivers, he just, you know, they, they're, all, they're going through it all. He's going to use the talent that they got, right? So that was kind of interesting because I thought we would have a more glowing thing about like Isaiah Likely. Like they asked him about Likely, and he was just kind of non committal on the roll. He did mention Mark Andrews. He said he stop. He said he record. He said he was trying to recruit Mark Andrews when he was like a sophomore in high school and things like that. So he's known Mark Andrews for a long time, uh, or known up his game for a long time. So I thought Tom Munkin's interview uh, press conference was pretty good. And then at the end, he finished it off with saying that. You know, we're, we're paid to score. You know, that's what the NFL wants. So we're going to put points on the board, right? Um, I like this I like this press conference. I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting. Um, I thought he said a lot of things that Ravens fans want to hear. And I thought that he's... He can show us into a future where the offense is still excited and still good. Now, obviously, the main thing is obviously Lamar Jackson. Will he be here? Will he not? That's going to set everything off. If he's here, um, the Ravens should have a really, really good offense if they can find a way to keep Lamar Jackson. That's the main thing. Will they keep Lamar Jackson? Um, because look, man, like you said, he said himself, yeah, my, my offense is adaptable, whatever, but it needs good players to succeed. So you don't, it don't get much better than Lamar Jackson in terms of who, the Ravens, who guys the Ravens can get. You already got an elite quarterback on your team. 
Tomlin and called him elite. Said he was underrated as a passer. He believes in Lamar Jackson. He likes Lamar Jackson. So, um, if they can keep Lamar Jackson, this offense could be exciting to watch next year. I expect it to be pretty good next year, and they'll add some pieces to it. But they got to get the big pieces, and that's number eight, man. So look, man, if you stay for this far in the video, uh, please, please hit that like button. Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And more Ravens content coming, man. Hey, Katie, you got anything you want to say? Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, baby. I love you, man. It's Gabe with the Fan TV. I'm out.